Hello and welcome to North Country Ham. Uh, today I'm going over the N-Fed halfway build that I did for myself. This is a picture of the uh, final product that I ended up having. Um, so with that, stick around. Well, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through and transition through some different uh, recorded stuff that I've got, you know, throughout the build. Uh, probably speed up some spots, but I wanted to show, kind of go from showing you the parts of what I've got to, you know, transition in through the, the build of the project and uh, the final product and a little bit on the uh, current uh, test readings that I've got. So with that, let's uh, get started. All right, so here are some of the parts for my NFED half wave that I'm doing for myself, uh, antenna project. Uh, a lot of this stuff I picked up either off from Amazon or local hardware store. So I've got, uh, so far I've got about six of these project boxes, um, plastic, and obviously looking at about approximately two inches by uh, two and five eighths by uh, three and seven eighths for the size of the box. Um, seem to be for a lot of your homebrew projects and whatnot. Nice one thing I do like about them is inside when you open them up, there's a little rubber gasket uh, bead, as well as the four. You know, you got the four screws for putting it together, and you can see you put the rubber bead right around in the little groove. And, you know, on the project box, once you screw it down, it kind of seats right in there and helps weatherize it a little bit. I do like that. As far as for the project box, move that one up. I did take and I've drilled one so far. I've got a center hole drilled here uh, for where the antenna is going to come out. I've got a, I got a whore bold board for a 239 connector. And I do have another hole here drilled in the side of it um, at the lower end for a counterpoise stud if I uh, if you if you so want to use one. Um, you can see inside the project box there's four little uh, mounting stud hole, uh, spots for screws. And then there's one at the top and bottom too. So there's a couple of different ways to mount in. Um, one thing I've done, I've been kind of doing, I found some uh, inexpensive plastic. Um, food mats for um, like picnic stuff. It's fairly thin plastic and I've drilled it and got it set so that way it'll actually screw down right inside the box here. Um, kind of about like that right in the middle of the box as you can see. I've got some small screws here that I'll, some number 10s by a half inch that I'll be using to hold it in place and my thought my plan was on the toroid here once it's wrapped zip tie it right to the right here on this so that way it'll kind of hold it somewhat secure inside the box here um, you can see that once it's done it comes it it's going to fill the box of her pretty good inside so that's kind of my intended plan so far with with the mounting of it i'm using a 140-43 uh, uh, toroid um, I did pick up some 28 gauge magnet wire, but uh, I wanted to be able to push some wattage if I if I wanted to, um, so I decided to go with a 14 gauge magnet wire instead that I picked up. Um, I've got a quarter uh, quarter inch by a 
quarter 20, uh, I think it might be a quarter 24 bolt with an eyelet. Thought plan was mount it in here, got the washers and stuff in there and have the, uh, where it's coming off the top of the toroid right to the post here with another knot and then a wing nut on top where you can hook in your antenna wire right to it. And if you wanted to change them out for a different length or later on, perhaps even if I uh, easily replace it if needed, or I may even try to make it to a length. Um, I've got the same size um, bolt here to make the counterpoise stud that'll kind of sit right in here. Probably a bolt, uh, a nut behind, cinch it down, put it through tight. Another nut on the outside to hold it with a wing nut so that way we can adjust it from there. I may go try to find a little bit shorter bolt. I'm going to play with the, the configuration of it to see what's going to fit best. Obviously some washers and nuts for the bolts. Um, and as far as, you know, I did pick up, as you can see here, I've got some BNC connectors for the bulkhead type connector to, to mount to it. Um, if I want to make one with a connector that way. Uh, this one I'm planning on doing with a SO239 to start with, which I do have some of those, but you know that's the that's the BNC uh, connector that I that I've got bulkhead with the little tab. Um, got a couple of those in a pouch here, along with the uh, SO239s in the same configuration. Um, along with that, I also picked up the uh, some of the resistors here the um they're 100 100 pf uh little uh resistors um for uh we're hooking on the toroid um way we see in a lot of ones being made as far as for the antenna wire i did pick up i've got some uh 22 gauge um silicone wire Seem to hopefully this this sounds like it's sent a lot of wire that uh, you're hearing different ones talking about be, being uh, very kind of soft and flexible and pliable. So we'll uh, we'll see how that uh, how that ends up working. So that's my parts that I've got so far. So uh, with that, we'll kind of continue on with the build and and share as we go. All right, so well, here's my 140-43 toroid and my 14 gauge magnet wire. I cut this at uh, approximately 38, 40 inches. And I folded it over at eight, eight inches and pinched it at, at a six inch mark to leave me a little bit of a tail for the transition from the primary secondary and twisted it up using uh, cordless drill and holding it with the pliers to get a nice twist on the on the pair as you can see so I'm gonna bring it down to kind of fold it right there that's kind of uh, how the twisted pair are gonna come out should kind of get it started you get a really nice bend on it to start kind of doing the first two wraps get them nice and tight as I can here there's my twisted pair gonna go to the ground and there's my primary going to the transmit
I may play with that a little bit just to tighten it up some, but there it is. That'll fit perfect in there. Be able to snip that down to fit. Not a problem. Okay, so I'm pre staging a little bit. This is my um, little plaque that I made that will screw down in here on it. My toroid zip tie to it so we'll do that go my toroid zip tied down I'll trim those off and that'll screw right down in there so there we go snip that and screw those down This is my intention is the coming off from the um, top of the roof. I'm going to put the um, ring terminal on here and have it between the two washers. And then I'll be able to tighten all this down. And then on here, I'll put a terminal on that will slide between and I can just tighten the wing nut down. That's the intended. And then Gonna be from the counterpoints. All right, kind of getting this screwed down in.
my toroids all wrapped. I get it preset ready to solder there. Put this here. I kind of boy. Okay, you see I've got my transformer in here, my capacitor, um, sorry, yeah, capacitor, 100PF, 50V capacitor that I've got a little baggie of, these are what I'm using, um, so what I've got left is soldering on the negative side and soldering on the center post of positive, and the transformer will be completed.
Okay. So, I got my solder here. Capacitor in there. Everything soldered. Whoops. Uh, it's all connected. So this is going to be my help with the strain relief. I've got a rubber O-rings that get my eyelets here that I've grooved so that they can slide in. Wing nut tightens down and then comes out a couple inches. I'll have around the O-ring and then snap this into it and away we go. So that's uh that's my transform box. So with that I can screw it down. And then I have a sealed box, 239, counterpoise stud if I want so choose to use it. So there we go. There's my screws for the for the case. So there we go. Here's my transformer box for my end uh, fed half wave that I'll be cutting for uh, 40 meters. So it'll be 60, cut it for 67 feet. And there we are. Well, this is the wire I'm using for my uh, for the antenna portion. It's a 22 gauge silicone. Stuff is very soft, pliable. I think it should make very good. So, a little bit of the back. Crimp it. And then Well, that's crimped on there. And I'll solder that a little bit. Just to make sure we got good connection. Okay, so there's my Ooh, that pool. <laughs> Gonna... 
prepare it the best for the stress relief. So there we go. There we go. There's my and fed halfway. I'm thinking, you know, I can make a counterpoise later on if I want to. So there we go. All right, real quick, I uh, got uh, top of my end fed right now, about 33 feet to the top of that flagpole, and I got it running in a sloper configuration. And then I've got currently 28 feet of coax. So on my VNA, I get it to show this. So you can see there, between 7 to 7.3, I've got less than a 1.25 to 1 SWR across the whole pan. All right, and there's my 20 meters, 14 to 14.35. You can see really good SWR all the way across. And there it is for um, 24.89 to 24.990. So for the 12 meter band, that's what I'm running SWR. Like a 2.3 to 1. And there's the SWR for 15. Pretty much straight across the band. 21 to 21.450. And there's actually what it is for 10 meters. That's a little better for the 10 meter. Uh, 28 to 29.7. You can see it starts right off really low. 
and ends up being a 3.4 to 1 at the very end. So, so going down through all the different frequencies, 40, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10. You can see I've got resonance throughout the frequency all the way down through. So that uh, I think that works pretty good. I want to double check before I trim the wire right now. I've just got it wrapped around itself back down through, but I originally cut the wire at uh, just over 67 feet, like 67 feet 6 inches, just to give me a little bit of room to play when I was putting the uh, terminal on the end of the wire to the to the box and then the um, you know for the uh, strain relief also so but it's wanting me to trim probably pretty close to seven feet off this wire to make it like 60 feet total length so I'm a little hesitant on that so I haven't trimmed it yet right now I just have it wrapped around itself back to uh, to the end of the wire with just a little piece of heat shrink set on it not uh, shrunk down yet but just holding it so it's all touching itself all the way down through and uh, I'll wait to confer with some of uh, some other hams before I actually trim it so with that I'll uh, transition over all right well uh, that was the build of the antenna I've got and some of the test results and whatnot that I have so far on the on the antenna I think it's going to perform pretty decently for me uh, it's very similar design to a lot of the NFED half waves that you've got out there so I mean it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward when it comes to that so thanks for watching with that I'll say 7-3 and get on the air